morning, it is Monday. Um, welcome to this week's vlog. So this week I am going to be prepping for the market that I've got on Sunday. Um, I have just got out the basket that's got all the uh, market supplies in, like bags, my sum up machine um, and signs for um, the sum up machine, the uh, QR code signs. I've also had a delivery of my banner which I'm going to show you. I am currently printing out um, all the stickers that I spent the weekend I made a cup of tea. Um, I spent the weekend designing. So these are the new stickers. Um, well, they're one set. So I've got, they're the floral blooms sticker set. These will all be coming in the shop as well, but possibly not till um, later. Um, the only problem is, so I've done them this size and then I suddenly thought, do I need to put them in bags so they don't get um, marked or dirty? But the only bags I have got are A5, which are too big, and then the smaller ones are slightly too small. So as you can see, if I put the bag on the top, they are a tiny little bit too big. The height's fine, I've not put them. The height might be a little bit too big, but the, the, they're too wide. So I am wondering whether to um, print them off slightly smaller, um, just so I can get them in those bags for the market. So yes, that is what I am currently doing. I've got myself a cup of tea. Um, I want to finish, I, I was going to finish the pin hoop displays last week but I never got round to doing that so I have got I think I've got two big ones to finish um, I just I've run out of the backing felt which has now arrived so they're made apart from the backing felt being put on so I just need to cut that out and put those on um, yeah I'm just going to crack on with this printing I'm going to show you um, what stuff I've got sorted and what stuff I'm still waiting for my business cards to arrive and the pin backing cards so hopefully they will arrive this week I have had a notification that they've been shipped so they should be arriving this week um we put up the gazebo yesterday and made sure that we had all the parts it was a bit of a nightmare to begin with because we've not put it up for ages and it just all the poles just kept falling apart and I was seriously thinking I hope it's going to be nice weather next weekend because we're not going to be able to use this but we did get it up eventually so and it was absolutely fine so um yeah we've got that i was um we haven't got the table yet but we're getting that this week we're just getting a pasting table i was thinking of putting the banner on the front of the table but then i realized when i because we've got a marquee the last um, market we did we were in a big marquee um, so I didn't have anywhere to hang a banner but of course this time I've got the gazebo so I did think I could hang it at the back um, on the gazebo so actually that will be a bit better because obviously if you hang it in front of the table uh, people won't really see it and yeah people will be standing in front of it and yeah so it'll be better at the back of the gazebo so hello right i am going to show you um what bits i have got um already for the market i'm also going to show you the banner and something else has just turned up which i'm really excited about so here you can see we've had the delivery of the bigger badges so i'm going to have a go at printing those out and making some up today so here I've got my scan to pay QR code sign for my sum up. I've um, got another one that I made um, which has got my Instagram and um, online shop QR codes there. Um, I've also got a um, spare one of those and I've also got my insurance documents. And then I picked this up um, last week in B&M. It's just a... Um, dry white board 
and it's magnetic as well. I had the idea to write my prices on here rather than having lots of little price um, cards. I was just going to write them on here, but I'm undecided about that. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be quite a good idea, um, but I haven't made my mind up whether I'm going to do that yet. Um, in here we have bags. So I've got quite a few of these bags here. I've got another load in there. This is a little apron with pockets, which I didn't actually use last time. And then these are just the little um, sum up um, stand display things that came with the sum up machine. Um, I don't think I used these last time, I, like, I just had that one. Um, but they are quite good um, just to show everybody that they can pay with their card. And then here we have my banner, so I'm just going to get it out and I'll probably light on the floor and show you. There we go. So that is the banner. It's a bit of a sneak peek to the new um, look that I'm going for. So I wanted to add a bit more colour. So I've added this sort of um, corally pink colour. Um, all the other colours are the same, the green, the blue and the yellow. But yeah, I just really liked the look of the coral with that. So that is my banner. I got these, um, I got a grommet in each corner so that I could tie it, tie it up. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It is a three foot by two foot one. Um, and if you're interested, I got it from Buzz Banners. I've just had a delivery of my new business cards. So these are the business cards. I got them printed. Ooh, just dropping on the floor. Uh, I got them printed on cotton. Um, so it says here, um, made from the fuzzy linters that surround a cotton seed. So that's that. Yeah, they're really nice. So they're like a, they're not soft, and um, they've got a bit of a texture to them. But the colours have come out really nicely, and I'm really pleased. So I just wanted something simple, so I just did my logo on the front, and then I've just got my details on the back. And then the other thing, sorry, I got, I got all of this from Moo.com. I've never used Moo.com before. Um, and I actually used them this time because I had a voucher for them. Um, the other thing I got were my pin backing cards, which I'm not as pleased with. Um, the colours just haven't quite come out how I wanted, um, but I think it's because of the paper. So um, I'm not entirely sure why I'd, I used a different paper for these, but they are um, soft just say because I have got a thing to say what the paper is. Um, oh, they're just original. Um, 350 GSM. Yeah, so they're um, really soft and I think they've got, like, they've got a coating on them. But yeah, the colours, the blue's not quite right. Um, if you can tell, it doesn't really show up, but it's a bit darker. And yeah, just not... Not as happy with this colour either. Um, 
but I've just got my website on the back and then just my logo on the front and the pins will sit someone who'll just sit there in the middle so they're fine but um I didn't get a huge amount so when I um, get some more I will probably opt for something else but yeah I'm really pleased with the business cards um, and I'm pleased, I'm pleased they've arrived in time for the market on Sunday so I have had um, a delivery today of the notebooks that I ordered um, the other day so we've got six um, designs here you can see them all um, but I've just had to email them because they aren't printed right so it might be quite hard to tell on some of them but I noticed them straight away really um, so this box with the lines in is off centre on all of them um, the only one that I thought wasn't off centre was this one but even this one is, it's um, got more space over this side than all the others um, but then this side is even wider so it's still off centre um, I will try and show you on this one so on the left side they are all about 7 millimetres and then on the right side they are 10 millimetres and they are all like that bar this one which is one centimetre one side and 12 centimetres on this side so yeah I'm not very happy um, but I've emailed them and hopefully they will be able to sort it out but of course it's frustrating because I don't know what will happen to these and it's just a waste <laughs> Wednesday afternoon it's just gone half past two um, I haven't actually done anything that I was planning on doing today but that's okay because what I have done I'm really pleased with so I'm not gonna get round to doing the bags today which is fine I wasn't planning on taking those to the market on Sunday anyway I just thought if I have chance I could um, do them and then if they turn out well then potentially I could have taken them on Sunday but I'm going to leave them probably. I'm, I might do them on Friday if I got everything else ready and I feel like um, I can not waste time doing them but I haven't got anything else that I urgently need to do. Um, but anyway regardless of that that will be in next week's vlog. Anyway if I don't do them on Friday I will be trying to do them sometime next week after I've been to the market so yeah um, if you watch next week's vlog hopefully I will have finally um, done the bags and used my new heat press my mini heat press I haven't got a big one yet I don't know anyway um, but what I have done I'm really pleased with so I said in last week's vlog that I got some new paper um, it was this pinnacle velvet fine art paper um, I also got some card blanks, some pre-cut cards um, because I wanted to do cards and art prints but I also thought if the cards, um, if the paper isn't quite right I could use the A4 paper to make cards and then obviously cut and fold them myself um, which is what's happening because the quality of the pre-cut cards isn't quite um, up to how I want it to be it's slightly grainy and after I printed the art prints out on this card I definitely wanted to use this for the um, cards so these art prints you can't really I can't really show you as well on camera the quality they have printed absolutely perfectly so I'm just going to grab these. These are all ready in cello so 
it's not quite, and I'm trying not to get too much glare, but this is my favourite one. The colours are just so vibrant. I have done an A4 and an A5 of all the prints. I've got five in total. So then there's that one, which the A5. Sorry, I'll just wait for my printer to stop being quite so noisy. Um, I'm just printing some cards off there. Um, then I've got that one, which I've just printed the A5 one off of that as well. Then there's that one. Again, the colours on that, they're just so vibrant. And obviously I've got the A4 one of that one. And then the last one is this one. So a little A5 and the big A4. So I've done all those. They're in the cello with the backing board. So they're all ready to go. Um, then I, yeah, so I, I tried the cards on the pre-cut cards that I had. And it, the quality just wasn't quite right. So then I did them on this card and honestly, they have come out better than I ever imagined. That, I mean, that's my favorite one because the colors are just stunning. So I've done that one, I've done that one, I've done that one, which is the same as the print. I've done that one and that one and there's one more over here I've just been folding them and I was using this which um, I haven't used for a while um, just so that I could get the because it's got the lines the indent oh, I don't know if you can see it the indent so you can I thought oh, that would be really good to use but they have all if you can see that They've all printed, uh, sorry, not printed, they've all folded offline, all of them, until I didn't use that and just did it on the table with a ruler and my folding tool and it's perfect. So I don't know whether this is slightly off centre or something, so I was really annoyed because this is my good card and... I've done four of them and they're all off so at least I've got four cards to send to some people because I don't mind if they're slightly off but obviously I don't want to sell them like that so I'm printing those off again so then I just need to cut them and fold them on the table like I did that one which worked I've just seen that I've had an email from Banana Print Oh, that's amazing. She's just gone and had a look and she agrees that they're off centre. So I haven't read the rest of the email, but I'm really pleased about that. So um, hopefully I will be getting those replaced. I don't know if I'll have to send those ones back to them. If I do, that's fine. But it's just such a waste. Um, yeah, I mean, if I don't have to send them back, I would sell them as seconds because they're fine. I mean, they're just note notepads. So... It, it's fine but obviously you don't want to sell them full price when they are faulty plus the fact that I've paid a lot of money to have them done and they're not perfect you know they're not perfect which is what you would expect so yes we'll see but I'm really pleased about that at least anyway I'm going to wrap this vlog up now because obviously it's Wednesday tomorrow I want to edit this as soon as I can in the morning so that I've got the afternoon um, to get on with other stuff I um, want to print out another set or two of the sticker packs that I've got um, so I'll probably do that whilst doing um, the editing tomorrow because that'll be fairly easy just swapping from the printer to the Cricut machine um, but yeah the rest of the market prep I will add to next week's vlog and I will also vlog on Sunday a little bit I won't obviously hopefully I'll be really busy but I will um, I'll possibly get my husband to just sort of film my setup and yeah just get a bit of a glimpse of where we are and how it is 
but yeah I'm really excited I do feel like I'm prepared so that's quite good so thank you for watching this week's video I hope you enjoyed um, seeing the new products speaking of I've just remembered I had another delivery I was just going to quickly show you so this is a new product for me um, I was umming and ahhing about whether to get them and then I decided to go for it because of the market mainly and I thought um, it'd be good for the market bookmarks so these are um, I got them velvet laminated just on the front just on the front side and then the back I just had um, it's silk paper so it's still soft but it's not as soft I've just got my little logo on the back um, and I got quite a few different patterns all in the new um, sort of collections that I've got so got that one and that one I'm just going to show you them really quickly because I realise I have been rambling on as usual and I don't want this to be too much talking um, that's what I've got, I've got strawberries, cherries I've got that one I've got that one and that one and the last one, oh no, last two these ones so yeah I'm really pleased with those um, like I said all these new products will be in the shop um, but probably not um, till some next week the week after because I don't want to um, put them on before the market well it's not that I don't want to put them on before the market but I just haven't really got time um, so obviously I've got to photograph them all and um, yeah, um, upload them all so that will be my job um, next week and the week after so yeah I'm really pleased with those and hopefully they will sell quite well at the market along with everything else um, yeah so I'm going to go thank you so much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up because that really helps and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel I am now doing weekly studio vlogs and um, yeah I'm really enjoying it so that's going quite well um, yeah so join me next week when you'll see the last few days of prep for the market and I will hopefully be creating some more new products next week. Have a lovely week and I'll see you soon. Bye.